So this year is a huge year for the V9 architecture from Arm. We launched it last year and we've seen the early silicon launched at the end of last year. But here at the show at Mobile World Congress for the first time, we're seeing devices launched that include the leading silicon platforms. So MediaTek, one of our big partners, launched their Dimensity 9000. And we're seeing that for the first time in the flagship mobile devices being launched with MWC. So performance is a really critically important consideration for ARM in developing our technology. We're looking to address a pretty broad range of devices across the market, but to give that leading fluid experience in all those use cases. So at the flagship end, with our latest silicon, things like Cortex X2 and the latest Mali GPU, we're trying to give really low latency app launch and very rich visual experience on the high-end devices. At the other end of the spectrum, we take our total compute platform of all that IP and scale it right down to bring access to the low end of the market. And one area of interest for us is the ultra low cost smartphone area, where we're trying to expand the accessibility of app stores and rich user experience more broadly across the, uh, across the world and into low income economies. Yeah, the gaming ecosystem for ARM is critically important. And with our Mali GPU, the world's most used GPU, we're trying to make sure that people can deploy exciting gaming experiences across every device. And that's becoming ever more important. So we're able to work with the game engine providers to make sure that the content is, that's created is scalable in every device you use, from your smartphone, across your tablet, your ARM-based laptop, even into set-top box and smart TV. And here at the show, we've been able to take that to an extreme, which is in the smartphone, and here able to show people the ability to game on the front of their fridge. And while that may not be really what most people are doing, it just shows how ARM's technology underlying this with the Mali GPU allows us to scale with developers that experience across all the devices they see in their daily life. So for the metaverse, and particularly for some things like virtual reality, software is key. Um, software and game developers are looking to see their content deployed everywhere that's possible. And then with a new world like augmented reality and virtual reality, those platforms are new and emerging. And so understanding what the capabilities will be and making sure that they can be confident that their content they develop will be portable into this new emerging market is really critical. So working with ecosystem partners and game engine creators, we're able to make sure that 3D content that is created will scale and will be present in the metaverse by being based fundamentally on ARM technology. So you can find out more about ARM V9, about Total Compute, Mali and the metaverse, all at arm.com.